Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Well, first of all, welcome to the the White House. Nancy and I are most delighted that you're here, and we have a chance to say what a wonderful job you and I think it's wonderful the initials for your title, RSVP, now, what you are doing. Retired senior volunteer program, but we also know that RSVP means uh, kind of come again. <laughs> but even though the R stands for retired, that's not quite the way to describe you. Someone said that the only true retirement is of the heart, and you certainly haven't retired in that regard. You've given not only your heart to volunteer activities, but your minds and hands as well. Some here today have been doing volunteer work for RSVP since its inception, 10 years ago. <laughs> All right. Well, and I know this anniversary is especially mean meaningful to, to those of you who have been in since the beginning. But it's also meaningful to this administration because it shows that volunteerism can work. There's some 300,000 senior volunteers right now are proving it in a number of ways. Counseling runaway youth, juvenile offenders, giving disadvantaged children extra reading help, providing legal assistance in public defender offices. I'm told that you even have volunteers who counsel on how to fill out Medicare forms, which puts some of you in the genius category. <laughs> but wherever there's a need, you have the expertise to fill it. Now, I myself have some <clears throat> volunteer work for you. When you return to your hometowns, would you tell your vo fellow volunteers that we intend to keep our promise to restore Social Security's fiscal integrity? In addition to that, the system can only be as strong as the economy, and we're attempting to make the economy strong so that Social Security will also be strong. Thomas Carlyle said that the work of an unknown good man, or woman I might add, is like a vein of water flowing hidden underground, secretly making the ground green. Well, you are making so many things green and growing with your volunteer work. And I imagine your work has probably made your lives a little greener too. Uh, Someone else once said that life begins when you begin to serve. And uh, I found there's some truth in that also. Uh, but uh, let me also just add this one thing, that with all the hard things that we have to do to restore this economy, the cuts of many things that we wish didn't have to be cut, we at the same time are just embarking on a program where from the White House, we are going to take action and form a task force throughout the country to mobilize volunteers and the force of the public sector 
or the private sector, I should say, to contribute, to take up the slack in many of the things that government perhaps shouldn't have been doing in the first place, that should have been left to that kind of work. And we're going to see if we can't mobilize that kind of a volunteerism, volunteerism back in our society again. So thank you for inviting Nancy and myself to share in the RSVP celebration. Thank you, Mr. President, for your kind words about such a productive program. We'd like to ask you, if you would, to please sign this very special birthday card, which is in honor of the 10th anniversary of retired senior volunteers and is now being held by some of our retired senior volunteers right behind you, sir. All right. Will you stand up there and turn this way so I can take Thank you, Mr. President. I just, I just had a little bit of nostalgia here. The gentleman taking the, the picture of us up here with the birthday card. And I remembered once when I was doing the General Electric Theater and I was standing in one of the GE plants in front of the product they manufactured in that particular plant, and they wanted a picture. And suddenly, one of the executive general electric said, <laughs> and he said, you're standing in front of the trademark. <laughs>